right away big chalk. Change your posting diagonal. Yeah, big chalk, ran full court, put them together. Hello, how are you? Good. Uh, give me one I have to think about who you're writing. Oh, good. That's going to be great. Good. Then hands together, only fit width apart. Good. Keeping your elbows at your side and thinking, rub the end in there a little bit. And on. Yeah. Good. And thinking about those back muscles and kind of rolling your shoulders back and engaging your core. Yeah. And then hips leading in the posting. And in your posting, you're going to think about your hips going to your hands. Yeah. And being deliberate with your posting. And not that I want you to start scooching your seat at him or anything, but I want you to really feel like you are, are owning that posting. That you're purposely going up, you're purposely going down, but you're not so much of a passenger, you're more of a pilot. Yeah, good. Yeah, and that knees stays forward. Yeah, I'm slowing together. If he's bracing on the right rather than using your rein to fix it, use your right leg. Care if we don't lean and tip to the inside of the circle to get the horse to move, that you're always, as the rider, straight up and down and really square and stable up there, and the horse just moves under you. Yeah. Good. Hands together. Right. Fix it with your legs. Yeah, a little more chop. And if it ignores your bigger chop cue, you're going to give him a smack with the leg. Yeah, shoulders back. You're going to kind of roll him back and then think about letting him kind of relax down and back. Yeah. Good. If you're like me at all, you hold all your tension in your shoulders. My shoulders always want to be earrings. It's like, oh, they're way up there. So you really have to kind of. Push them back and think about relaxing those muscles down and back, letting them just kind of drape off the back of you. Yeah, that's better. Good. Yeah, a little more chalk. That's right. Good girl. Steady hand. All right, you're going to think about how it felt when you had that cube in your hand, about how limited your hands were, right? You really couldn't do a whole lot with them. Have that same feeling. You're a good enough rider to fix it with your legs and your body. Yeah, so start to break that habit a little bit. Yeah. Hands low and together, nice and steady. Right. Really steady now. Watching YouTube videos on how to do it. 
pressing down, like relax, but cap on, and a little forward. Yes. Yeah, good. Better with your upper body, being more stable. It's really hard not to scoot our seat at the horses in the canter, but biomechanically it, it ruins it. Good. Sitting still. Good girl. Good. Then when you're ready to cross transition, you sit heavy. You're going to keep him round. Melt into him. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Good. Brain's a little shorter. You're starting to yeah, round up, right? And you feel the canter definitely got a little bit rounder in there, huh? Yeah. Starting to loosen up. Yeah. Good. Good. So keep them that round. And then let's do a little bit of sitting trot. And let's move our whip to our inside hand and do a little bit of lateral work. That's a good trot there. Good. I get lots of practice for that. <laughs> okay, really round. Okay. And then let's go sitting trot. Keep it really round. Keep this back up. Brain a little shorter. Elbows at your side. I lose my legs. Yeah, I know. So think about really sitting deep, that you're reaching for the ground. You're feeling the horse's ribcage move left and right in forward momentum. Careful that you don't um, break your wrists over, that you keep a nice straight line from your wrist. Elbows at your hand. Yes. So you have a straight line always from your hand to the bed. Good. Let's take a full arena. Do a little bit of shoulder four to shoulder in. Start with shoulder four. Make sure you're sitting in the trot. Make sure the trot's moving forward. A little bit of bend. Shoulders come in. Don't get tipped forward. Sit back. Let them carry you. Right. Let them carry you. Good. Now you're absorbing the bounce with your rib cage and your elbows so your hands stay quite still. Good. Now this time, shoulder in. Increase your angle. How many tracks does shoulder in have? Yeah, how many tracks should your shoulder in have if you're in the show ring on the rail? Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half, so the judge can actually tell what you're doing. If you're on the center line, only three. Okay. Yep. It's a pro tip for you there. How many tracks does Traver or Hans in have? Oh, that's a good question. Four. Yep, it, it has four. So you have to increase your angle for Traubert or Haunches it. So shoulder in again. Take three and a half tracks. Yes, ma'am. Now add a little bit more bend. Yeah, you ride those quite well. Just think a little more stability in your body. You're being a good rider and you're doing it for it, right? Yeah. You focus on yourself and just ride it like you know how and expect them to pick up the slack. Shoulder in again. Hands low and steady. Elbows absorbing the motion. Good. Okay. Now, just come full arena this time. Do you remember how to ride Traubert or Hantzen? No. Okay. So you are just going to use your outside aid a little bit in the way for the cannery, but not actually cannery, right? So just bring the haunches in. So on the next long side, it's almost like really riding deep in the corner and just leave his haunches in. So your outside leg comes back from your hip. Yep. And you're going to increase your bend. Haunches in. Haunches over and in. Yeah, yeah. Now look ahead. Find yourself in the mirror. That's good. Steady. Range should be a little shorter, huh? Yeah. Okay. So angle varied a little bit at the end there, but right start. Come again on that. Range shorter. And if you're, which hand is your whip? Oh, on the inside. Okay. okay. So really bend in. Now bend them a little bit more. Yep, angles, good. You gotta really bend them though. Yeah, 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 right idea, right idea. You feel the bend's hard this way, right? You yeah. Can give you angle or can you bend, giving you both is hard. Yeah. <laughs> so switch your whip to your outside hand. Good girl. Take a little circle here. 